If you've ever complained when you see Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg gain another $10 billion to their net worth and think, my goodness, what do they need with more money? Aren't they well off enough? Well, if that's the case, then you probably have a lot in common with every fan base in front office for NFC teams in the NFL, and the Los Angeles Rams are Amazon and Facebook. As news broke that Bobby Wagner signed a five-year, $50 million contract with the Rams, that was exactly my thought. The rich just get richer. And I've covered the Rams a lot recently because they just won the Super Bowl and made some great additions on top of it So I'm not gonna spend much time going over the Rams defensive or offensive schemes as a whole So check out my other videos if you want that But today I really want to focus solely on Bobby Wagner the player and his current state We are gonna look at some film from his 2021 season because we'd all be naive to think he's still prime Legion of Boom Bobby Wagner or is he? And I doubt he plays out all five years of his contract, but it is evident that the Rams still think he has enough in the tank to fit their next three-year window where they're all in, going to have most of their core pieces to make a run at these Super Bowls. So this is obviously huge news. Well, let's see what we think and hop into the film room and look at his tangibles and intangibles to see exactly what the Rams just acquired. And before we get into the first bit of film, I want to acknowledge something. A lot of people are on Twitter saying that Bobby Wagner is washed. I stayed up way too late last night watching Bobby Wagner film. Could not find a shred of evidence that would lead to this. In the 2021 season, he had 170 tackles, which was not only third in the NFL, but that was the second most total and solo tackles in Bobby Wagner's career, only behind his 2016 season. This is his 10th year in the league. He's an eight-time Pro Bowler in his last eight seasons, and he's a six-time first First team all pro and last year he was second team all pro and he's also super healthy throughout his career this isn't a Julio Jones situation where he was dominant but hopefully they can get back to what he was he has only missed eight games total in his tenure so the first play we're going to look at is going to show just how wash Bobby Wagner truly is. So we're going to have this little combo block right here. We have Lakin Tomlinson and we have the best tackle in football, Trent Williams, looking to seal his edges. The 49ers run their patented outside zone stretch play with a guy that runs a 4-3 something. This is just what the 49ers are known for. This is what they do. And at first, everything looks like it's going according to plan. The combo block gets really good. Trent Williams releases upfield and this is exactly what the 49ers want. Trent Williams is his way out here because he knows if Bobby Magner wants to make a play on this he's gonna have to take a pursuit angle to the sidelines because we have Elijah Mitchell who runs a 4-3 he's gonna take it to the outside but Bobby Wagner is looking to shoot this gap and this is where we see the bend that we talk so much about pass rushers where he comes down the field very quickly and then right here once he sees that he beats the block look at how he changes his angle this is the bend we see defensive pass rushers he just gets immediately sideline to sideline just completely crushing the 49ers hopes and dreams as every other block is setting up so well he tacks down the hill so well and so quickly and then gets laterally almost immediately to blow this play up for almost no gain and this play really has it all let's look at some play action screen game as Bobby Wagner reads run he's coming downhill ready to fill his gap but as soon as Taylor Heineke looks like he's about to pull it in look at Bobby Wagner plant his foot and then get one step backwards laterally immediately read screen I mean just the progression of how he does this coming downhill pulling back and then immediately reading screen only getting another yard of depth he's gonna go swing out to his left take on both blockers why because he can he has one arm on both linemen leading both of these blocks and look he is at the 34 yard line freeing up the safeties freeing up the linebackers only gets one yard of depth this double team almost does nothing but he's just reading as he sees Antonio Gibson cut it to the inside almost able to effortlessly block shed and he slips and falls and we get it haha ha, gem live you're gonna throw in a blooper reel in here well not exactly he's done everything right up until this point but now he's on all fours on his hands and knees but Antonio Gibson's in for a rude awakening as like the undertaker Bobby Wagner comes back to life and like the WWE absolutely pile drives him into the ground and when I mean this play has it all, it truly does. He reads the run, he reads pass, he reads screen, he takes on two blockers, he reads the running back, doesn't get any depth, and pile drives him to the ground. This is the wash 32-year-old Bobby Wagner that everyone on Twitter is giving the Rams so much shit for picking up when he's still out here making plays like this. 
And since he's so washed and 32 years old, he's probably just a zone defender at this point, using his smarts and brains to get out here and just read it right. But what if you put him one-on-one -on -one with a freak rookie running back like Najee Harris that has freshest legs out of anyone in the league? Well, he's going to be able to take this matchup. He's going to read Najee Harris, attack the ball, and hold him to only four yards on this play. Being a short tackler, of course, he does get dragged like two yards, but this is Najee Harris, a freak athlete. But holding him to this and keeping his defense off the field, field is what makes him so impressive. But can he cover Najee Harris sideline to sideline because he did kind of run right at him? Well, this is where we're going to be able to see this. We're going to see the athleticism still with the unfair advantage, apparently, with Najee Harris. He's going to be on the left side of your screen coming left to right, and they're even going to try and run a little pick route. But this play, I should give some context, is third and nine, trying to get their defense off the field. Bobby Wagner is going to go over all the mess, but keep Najee Harris in front of him, covering him sideline to sideline. This is exactly the matchup Pittsburgh wanted. Going to cut off his angle to the sideline, force him to cut back in, get his defense off off the field as they come up short for the first down. The Steelers got everything they wanted. They got Bobby Wagner on Najee Harris one-on-one, -on -one, but he's able to take the right angle, still has enough speed to cut off everything and get his defense off of the field. And in the run game, you're always looking for advantages. You're looking at ways to out leverage the defense. And the way you can do this is running away from people that you don't think can make the play on this. One of the most disrespectful things we can see, we're going to see this tight end block down. We're going to see this tight end come and get this linebacker as they're going to do this pitch play to the right. But they have this center going out, trying to reach block to double team combo block this, leaving Bobby Wagner completely unblocked as they try and lead their way through the hole, thinking, okay, this guy, he's going to be too fast. He's going to get there. And we don't even need to worry about Bobby Wagner. We would have more of an emphasis on this play side linebacker getting a good double team on him because Bobby Wagner by design is going to be out of this play. And the Steelers trying to run this just reminds me of the Steelers just looking at Bobby Wagner's stats, not looking at the film scene. Oh, this guy is 32 years old. He's not going to be able to make a play on this. Well, Bobby Wagner is still a freak athlete. And like I said, whatever he has lost in a step running the ball, he is more than gained in his play awareness and play recognition in running game and in route concepts. As we're going to see later as we look more in passing games, how he plays zone coverage almost perfectly. And a part of that is reading the quarterback's eyes. We have Davis Mills. We have a tight end. He's going to do an inside seam. And then across, we're going to have a drag route. Bobby Wagner is going to play the middle of the field zone. And watch how he does this. Watch how he drives on the ball and watches Davis's Mills' eyes. So he's going to take his drop. He's going to see the tight end coming up the field. But this is second important to where the quarterback actually wants to go with the ball. So as Davis Mills is going to set up the throw here, look at it's. I mean, we can barely see it. I hope you can see this. I wish I got a better angle on this. We see Bobby Wagner's feet right here at the top of your screen. I really hope you can see this. But if we watch Davis Mills, this is almost in sync. They're Bluetooth synced up. When Davis Mills is taking a step to throw this ball to this crossing route right here, Bobby Wagner is reacting and pushing down the field. So the Texans got exactly what they wanted. They wanted the tight end to push Bobby Wagner deeper into his zone so they could hit this underneath route and get a big chunk play. So as he steps up, Bobby Wagner, boom, attacks downfield gonna get down there and as if we see this looks like a bigger gain than it is this is actually a two and a half to three yard gain that Bobby Wagner perfectly sniffed out and even though the Texans got everything they wanted on this play it was Bobby Wagner that was there to ruin their plans just by being the smarter more athletic player on the field and now we're going to look at some goal line plays because with goal line, there's not going to be as much time to read. You need to react and you need to attack hard. And we saw what he did to Antonio Gibson. I guess he has a huge weight advantage, probably much stronger than him, but he is able to take on left tackles with ease, punishing the hole, driving the lineman back, stuffing this on the goal line. Whereas this might've been a touchdown as the running back would have had a one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, able to make a move or drive him back into the end zone. But again, goal line, it's going to be physical football and Bobby Wagner is is about as physical as they come. And this play is just hilarious to me. We have Bobby Wagner in the middle of the field. We have this motion coming down, but Bobby Wagner simply knows just to read his keys in this situation. When everyone's down blocking, the left guard is going to pull, and that tells him all he needs to know. And he's going to be sitting there waiting for this play because the Washington football, or now the commanders, I guess, he's just going to be waiting for them in the hole. He beats everyone there, and he's just simply waiting. He was like, should I follow my 401k? Do I do my taxes? Should I call my wife, see if she's doing okay? Beats them to the hole, just patiently waiting, waiting for Antonio Gibson to get there just so we can blow it up for no gain. 
And in my notes on this play, I just called this shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We are not on the goal line anymore, so you do have time to read. The Cardinals are going to send a lot, someone in motion and send a lot of pulling guards. There's going to be a lot of action going to the left side of your screen. So Bobby Wagner is ready to fill his hole. But what do you do when there's no hill there? We are told as linebackers to do exactly what Bobby Wagner does to a T looking for the hole to fill there's nothing just keep shuffling 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 oh there's the running back attack him stop him for no game and this play just might not seem like much at first but the fact is is how consistently Bobby Wagner plays the position to a T just plays it textbook almost seems like he knows exactly what's going to come just like with Brady and Rodgers you're not going to confuse them with anything the defense can do you're not going to confuse Bobby Wagner with any he's going to stick to his keys read it know what route concepts are coming and attack it to brilliance but let's look at our last bit of passing analysis and the last little bit we're going to look at is just again to emphasize the point on how well he plays zone coverages. There's going to be an over on top of him. He's going to take away the over, but as soon as he sees that the quarterback wants to go to the flats, he's going to dump it off. Bobby Wagner is going to drive it for almost no gain. Watch how he takes away this over just by being in position and leads this to only being a three yard gain. Just so impressive. James Conner, a big, huge, powerful running back. We have Stafford on this next play coming in across the middle of the field, actually puts it to the right side of the receiver which is exactly where it wants it to be it looks like it's going to be an easy completion not on Bobby Wagner's watch and again we get to see him read play action pass get to his zone and pick it off Jimmy G over the middle just knowing exactly what's going to come knowing that if there's going to be a play action knowing what the 49ers like to do to get into the right spot into the zone and take away that second window slant and maybe outside of the 49ers the next best outside zone team might be the Titans we're going to have the right tackle get a free release to the second level as we have this beast of a running back Derrick Henry try and extend it out and even if Bobby Wagner has lost a step at all maybe he doesn't run the 4-6 that he did coming out of the draft but very similarly to Tom Brady if Tom Brady has lost any bit of arm talent he has gained an experience in knowing what to do a oh, perfect technique is this is one of the easiest block sheds I've ever seen in my life and if we look to the left of our screen we see Jamal Adams trying to set the edge and that's his responsibility so Bobby Wagner still has his hole he's really ready to fill it if Derrick Henry takes it up he sees Derrick Henry bouncing it to the outside knows Jamal Adams doesn't have the best out outside angle on him so he's going to be able to talk hawk him down and 170 tackles Bobby Wagner is one of the most sure tacklers in all of the NFL so if you think Bobby Wagner has lost a step at all here he is running with the league's best running backs being one of the most sure tacklers reading block shedding to perfection so in conclusion we can obviously tell Bobby Wagner is far from being washed and now the Rams defense have a pro bowl caliber player top of their position at all three levels they have Aaron Donald Bobby Wagner and Jalen Ramsey and all three of these guys are going to help each other out we have Aaron Donald coming in with the pass rush we have Bobby Wagner putting in everyone in the right position which I didn't even touch on in this video there was multiple times while I was watching film the Seahawks defense was out of position but pre-snap Bobby Wagner was get able to get everyone in the right spot and Jalen Ramsey holding it up on the back end three veterans too and they're gonna make everyone in their position groups better but let me know what you guys think I think this is an underrated signing and I know a lot of people are high on this but I've seen way too many people that think Bobby Wagner is washed and the Rams are overpaying him even though I don't think he's gonna play all five years that would put him at 37 years old which might be a little bit of a stretch I think this was a huge addition for the Rams current situation in the playoff window they're trying to reach but let me know what you guys think make sure to like this video if you like videos like these make sure to comment down below what you think and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content i appreciate y'all so much for checking out the channel i really do appreciate all the support recently thank you so much for checking it out and i will see you all tomorrow peace